Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make hot compost, an amazing amendment for your yard from the waste like veggie scraps and leaves. Hi, this is Gary McDougall from Grow the Food You Love. Okay, so to make hot compost, it's really important to have a good mixture of greens and browns. Green things would be like green, your veggie scraps. We have chickens, so we, we collect their chicken manure and all our veggie scraps in this pile in their chicken run. But if you don't have chickens, that's okay. You just need green scraps like your kitchen waste and grass would work really well in a mixture of browns like wood chips or leaves. We, I like to just use leaves because leaves, uh, they break down quicker, they're easier to compost. So the next thing is then you just, you wanna mix your greens and your browns about equal. So this is a bunch of our veggie scraps in the chicken manure and I just fill it up with this bucket. and I mix it back here in our compost bin. Now something you want to think about when you when you use a compost bin is you want it to be at least three feet by three feet by three feet. It needs to be big enough for it to get heat. You need to have enough things in it, greens and browns, to get heat. So we put our green substance in there on top of a layer of leaves and I'll just mix that in. The next important point is mixing the greens and browns with water. You want to mix it with enough water. I'll show you how I do that. First we're going to give it all a sprinkle of water and I'm gonna show you how to test to see if you have enough water in it. Okay, so we've watered that down. I'm gonna mix it in a little bit. Now when you pick it up, if you squeeze it between your hands and no water comes up, it's not quite wet enough. So I'm gonna water it a little bit more. Okay, to see if you've had enough water, if you squeeze it, you just see a little bit of water in between your fingers. If the water was flowing out, it's too wet, you'd want to put more dry ingredients in there, but you want just enough water that you can just see it when you squeeze it. So one of the questions I get regularly is, how do I get enough things to make a compost pile that's three feet by three feet by three feet? One of the things we do is there's a horse farm close by. We bring a couple of buckets and we have a car. So if you, you go get horse manure in a car, make sure you have buckets with tops. We fill those buckets up and then we just put a layer of it, the horse manure, onto the pile. Now, once you get the horse manure in there and your chicken manure, now we want to get some more browns in there, like we had said, things that are high in carbon. We collect, in the stucco wire, we collect this, our neighbor throws them over the fence, goes in the spin, and we just kind of scatter them. Just a nice thin layer over top. Now, if you have something like big maple leaves, you might want to run it over with a lawnmower because you don't want them to mat and put out the heat in your compost pile. You want them pretty broken down. These leaves are small maples. They break down pretty fast. They don't have a lot of surface area. So we're just going to put a layer of those on top. Going to mix them in a little bit. And then we're going to water them in. And you just do this layer after layer of the browns, the leaves, and then the chicken manure and the veggie scraps, and then the horse manure, and we'll layer it all the way and water it as we go, and then we'll fill this bin right to the top. Okay, so now we've gotten to the top. We've layered it, we've watered it, we've got it right to the top. What we wanna do now is we wanna cover it up because it's wet enough. We don't want, you know, if it rains a lot, we don't wanna get it oversaturated with water. Water would cool off the pile. We wanna get it as hot as possible. So we're just gonna lay that over the top and maybe lay a piece of wood over there so it doesn't blow away. And we're gonna let it heat up over 130 degrees for a week or two and then we're gonna turn it. Watch our next video where we turn the pile and we talk about things to look for in turning a hot compost pile. So thank you very much for joining us today. Join the Facebook group, Grow the Food You Love if you wanna learn more about our gardening and growing food year round. See you next time.